Adding and subtracting vectors. As we've already seen, a vector has magnitude, or size, and direction. When looking at a vector diagram, the length of the line shows its magnitude and the arrow represents the direction of the vector. We're going to start by looking at how you add vectors. We can add two vectors by joining them end on end. Here you can see two vectors, A and B. To add vector B to vector A, you join the tail of vector B to the head of vector A. The result is a vector that joins the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. This is called the resultant vector, A plus B. Think about two non-parallel vectors, A and B. Then A plus B is the translation of A followed by the translation of B. You should be able to see from the diagram that it doesn't matter which order you add them, you'll get the same result. So A plus B is exactly the same as B plus A. This tells us that vector addition, like ordinary numerical addition, is commutative. In other words, the order doesn't matter. You can add vectors with or without the use of a diagram. For example, if you want to add two vectors P and Q, you can add the horizontal components and then the vertical components. This will give you the vector 5, 2, 5 to the right and 2 up. You can always check your results using a diagram. You can also subtract vectors. A minus B is defined as the translation of A followed by the translation of minus B. To subtract vector B from vector A, you join the tail of vector minus B to the head of vector A. The resultant vector A minus B joins the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. You can see that the resultant vector A minus B can be considered either as A minus B or as minus B plus A. You can also subtract vectors with or without the use of a diagram by subtracting components. First subtract the horizontal components and then the vertical components. In this example, the resultant vector is 1, 8, 1 to the right and 8 up. This can be pictured on a diagram as follows. 